I'm going to compare Aura versus Identity Force on their monitoring capabilities, their offerings for fraud resolution, and of course, their price. If you're deciding between these two identity theft protection solutions, you're already on the right path. Of the seven companies I've used, these two are in the top three. But make sure to check out the video description for my latest recommendations and information on any deals that I may have. I can update that as time goes on, unlike this video. For those who've been burned before, these companies offer a lot in the fraud resolution department that you're sure to appreciate. Both of them have great monitoring capabilities too, so you can rest assured that they're thorough. And if you're just being proactive about protecting yourself from identity theft, Plans for both of these companies cover all the bases, and they're relatively affordable. Especially Aura, they're pretty much the best deal out there when you look at the whole package. Well, I think Aura is probably the best choice for most people, especially if you also want to protect your kids, your spouse, and even your parents, you really can't go wrong with Identity Force either. Since we've already broached the topic of price, let's start by taking a quick look at their pricing structures. One of the many things that I love about Aura is that their pricing structure is straightforward, and their packages are super comprehensive. All of the benefits of Aura's identity theft protection are included in all of their plans. The price you pay only changes depending on how many people you want covered. Believe it or not, there's only one other company I've used that keeps it this simple. The rest of them tend to lock the benefits within pricing tiers. In some cases, it's really convoluted, and it can make it really quite difficult to compare the plans across the different companies. While Identity Force does use pricing tiers, it's still fairly straightforward, and there are only two tiers. They have their Ultra Secure plan, which is basically everything but their credit monitoring and related offerings, and then they have their Ultra Secure Plus credit plan, which gives you everything. As we'll get into in further detail, for an even comparison, it makes the most sense to look at Aura's plans next to Identity Force's Ultra Secure Plus credit plan. And just right off the bat, you can see that Aura's gonna come in cheaper than Identity Force by a fair margin, at least at the time of filming. Aura and Identity Force operate very similarly at their core. Like most identity theft protection companies out there, the component you're likely to be interacting with most on a day-to-day -day basis is the Personal Information Monitoring section. To get started, you'll input the personal information that you want the system to monitor. Things like your name, birth date, and social security number are usually monitored by default, but they allow you to keep track of quite a bit more information than that. They're similar enough in the types of personal information that they allow you to monitor, although I'd say Aura does have a slight edge. Then they'll perform their set of scans and they'll send you an alert if they come across your personal information. And then they'll suggest some tips for any actions you should take. Then something I like about Aura, and there's only one other company that I've used that does this, is that upon signing up, they'll submit opt-out requests on your behalf with data brokers to help reduce inbound queries from robocalls, junk mail, email spam, and similar. For me, it was 30 opt-out requests upon signing up, and then they continue on an ongoing basis. So they sent me a few emails saying, hey, we submitted opt-out requests with X many data brokers. Identity Force gives you links to a number of databases where you can submit similar opt-out requests on your own, but they don't do it for you. Aura will also keep tabs on utility account records, so if an identity theft opens an electrical service in your name, you'll get an alert. This is something I don't see with Identity Force. Aura monitors public records for your personal information so that if someone tries to add their name to your home deed or to your auto title, or if someone puts your name down during an arrest, you'll receive an alert for that. Identity Force will monitor court records and sex offender registries, so you'll similarly get alerts for fraudulent criminal activity, but they don't offer home title or auto title monitoring. Identity Force will let you know if there are any changes of address with the USPS so that if an identity thief tries to redirect your mail to gain access to your bills and pay stubs, you'll get an alert for that. I don't see Aura offering this. And Identity Force will also send you an alert if an identity thief takes out a payday loan in your name using your SSN. While Aura does monitor your SSN, they don't explicitly say that they'll do this, so I can't say that with certainty. But perhaps most importantly to many of you guys, both Aura and Identity Force monitor the dark web for your personal information. I'll show you how these two companies compare and what they find for my personal information on the dark web later on in this video. Before we get to that, I want to go over the rest of the monitoring capabilities that these companies offer beyond personal information monitoring. Another significant component of monitoring is credit monitoring, which as I mentioned earlier, you don't get with Identity Force unless you offer their Ultra Secure Plus credit plan. If you do offer Identity Force's upgraded plan, you'll get three bureau credit monitoring, so you'll get alerts right away if there are any inquiries into your credit file with Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion, all three of the major bureaus. All of Aura's plans come with credit monitoring for all three of the major bureaus as well. The reason credit monitoring is such an important component of an identity theft protection package is that you'll get an alert if an identity thief tries to open a line of credit in your name, like a credit card, a car loan, or anything of that nature. That way you can get a jump on it faster than the flash and resolve it before it gets out of hand. In addition to monitoring your credit records, both companies will give you access to Vantage scores and credit reports from all three bureaus right within your account dashboard. Aura updates your Vantage scores monthly and your credit reports annually, whereas Identity Force updates both reports and scores on a quarterly basis. Plus there's monthly updates to Vantage scores from one of the bureaus. One the added benefit with Aura is that they also provide you with a credit lock so that you can prevent unwanted inquiries into your credit file from happening in the first place with the click of a button. And while we're on the topic of finances, both companies offer transaction monitoring so that you can link bank accounts, credit cards, and investment accounts to monitor activity all in one place. You can set transaction thresholds to get alerts of any charges that are over the limit you set. That way, if something unexpected comes through, you can look into it and see if it's legit and take action if needed. 
The OF Financial Monitoring Identity Force allows you to link your social media accounts to receive alerts if your posts are deemed inappropriate or abusive, typically a signal that someone has taken over your account to use it maliciously. Or it doesn't offer social media monitoring at this time. In terms of cyber safety, both companies offer a password manager and a VPN. Aura also offers malware protection software for your devices, and Identity Force offers a secure storage system. I guess you could put things like your Bitcoin wallet recovery seed in there, but why would you do that? Everyone knows you're supposed to write that 24 word sequence down in invisible ink, shred it up into tiny pieces, burn it, eat the ashes, and hope to god you can magically remember it two decades later when you realize that tenth of a Bitcoin you bought was actually worth something. Now for everybody's favorite part, the dark web monitoring. To ensure a level playing field, I always monitor the same personal information across all the identity theft protection solutions I use. That way they're all looking for the same stuff and we can draw some conclusions about the amount of results they turn up. Now, I've already expressed my satisfaction with both of these companies, and when it comes to dark web monitoring, they don't disappoint. Aura finds a grand total of 18 dark web hits for my personal information, and 9 of those hits are unique, meaning they're not just duplicates of the same personal information posted on different places on the dark web. The remaining non-unique hits are those duplicates, and typically they're a part of compilations where some clever fellow has stockpiled massive lists of people's login credentials in one place to take a load off for like-minded cyber pirates. All my hits are leaked login credentials from various websites and apps I've used over the years. Websites like Adobe, Dropbox, MySpace, and even the username and password for one of my Gmail addresses is in there. That's no fun, but let's be honest, it could be a lot worse. Identity Force finds even more dark web hits than Aura, with a grand total of 20, and 10 of those being unique hits. Now Aura and Identity Force are sitting pretty at the top of the list when compared to the remaining 5 identity theft protection solutions I've used. Identity Force finds absolutely the most with Aura nipping at its heels. To give you an idea of how bad some of the others can be, Norton's Lifelock turns up a total of 8 dark web hits, although in their defense, they're all unique. In Identity IQ, they turn up an impressive 0. Now, I always annotate this numbers to mention that there's typically a lack of perfect crossover in between the companies, and even in extreme cases like LifeLock and Identity Force, for example, each company is typically finding some hits that the other isn't. So Identity Force has 20 total and 10 unique hits, versus Aura's 18 total and 9 unique hits isn't a huge difference in my mind, but LifeLock's total of 8 certainly is. And they aren't even finding my leaked Gmail credentials. That pretty much sums it up for monitoring, but let's not forget fraud resolution. Another thing I love about both Aura and Identity Force is that plans from both companies include white glove fraud resolution. In the event that you're a victim of identity theft, they'll be there not only to help you through the process, but also to take care of all the heavy lifting. Things like making phone calls and filling out floors on your behalf, and of course working through all that fine print just to figure out what you need to do in the first place. And they'll work with you to make sure that you're back to your pre-incident state as much as possible, with as little pain as possible on your end. Both companies also have excellent customer support teams, so when the time comes to make that call, you won't be rubbing your temples with dismay yet again. You'll probably already be doing enough of that anyway. Now in terms of financial backing, there is a bit of a divergence here. Identity Force's plans include $1 million in identity theft insurance, which is pretty standard across the other identity theft protection solutions I've used. Aura's plans include up to $1 million in identity theft insurance per adult. And since Aura's family plan covers up to 5 adults and unlimited children, that means you get up to $5 million in identity theft insurance with Aura. At the end of the day, you can't go wrong with Aura or Identity Force, but when I look at the whole package, I'm a little more impressed with what Aura has to offer as a whole, before you even look at price. And then when you do take a look at price, as I mentioned earlier, Aura just seems like a better deal. And that's before you apply my discounts. Remember to check the video description for my latest recommendations, as well as links to any deals that I may have. You can check out my full reviews of Aura and Identity Force right here on this channel, and I have tons more reviews and comparisons both published and in the queue, so stay tuned.